Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about crooked foot in chicks, what it is and how you can fix it. <laughs> toe is a condition that can be common in chicks typically for four different reasons. One being genetics. So parents with crooked toes can produce offspring with crooked toes. So it can be a genetic thing, which is why I wanted to make sure that that was not the case with our breeding stock because I wanted to make sure that we didn't carry that trait. It's not a desirable trait. The next thing that can get um, can be from is from hatching complications. If chicks don't hatch properly, it can cause deformities in the toes, causing crooked toe. The next thing that we looked into was vitamin deficiency. If they do not get enough vitamin B2 in their diet, they can actually have genetic problems with their toes. So we make sure that our chicks are getting good vitamins. They get vitamins in their water every day from the time we get them. Um, so I knew that the vitamins was not going most the most likely cause now the other cause can be from overactivity and smooth brooder which are both brooder problems so linoleum floor in our chick house um, to make it easier for cleaning but it also means that it's very smooth I know little one I'm sorry I'm sorry it also means that the floor is very smooth now since the floor is very smooth they're slipping around and so that can be another reason they get the the funky crooked toes. Now, the other thing is from overactivity and our chicks have a lot of space and a lot of room and some lots of perches and things for them to play on, which also can cause issues and deformities in toes. So I have a couple of the cuckoos that I noticed had some crooked toes. So I'm gonna show you them and then show you guys what we're going to do to try and fix them. Just, just a minute, just a minute. Let's just show everybody your little feet here. Now, when they're standing, it's harder to, to really see, but these toes on the end here are just a little bit too flexible and they keep hooking back and they're quite curled. So if we wrap them, it'll help hold the toe straight so that we don't have that problem anymore and it'll correct. Now, crooked toe is not something that's going to really affect them into adulthood. So it's not really something you have to fix, but I am choosing to fix it because these are my breeding stock birds and I would like to make sure that their feet grow and develop properly for best optimal health as adult birds. So just secure the bird under your arm. You can do it on younger chicks too, which won't need quite as much manhandling. So this is the toe I wanna do. It sticks out pretty far here. So I'm just going to correct it by putting a little strip of vet wrap on her little toe. I don't want it to be too tight to restrict any blood flow. But vet wrap is the safest because it just sticks to itself so it won't hurt the skin at all. So that's it. Just wrapping her toe to make sure that the joint stays straight. We'll check her other foot. This one I didn't see when she was on the perch that it needed any correction. No, this looks like a good, healthy, normal chicken feet. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Can you say hello? I know you're not super happy about it. Yeah, you're all better now. All right, I finally found our most severe case. This is what crooked feet usually look like. If you're just a regular follower and you're just curious, that's fine, but I do have to warn you, it is kind of gross and they look broken and they're very distorted. So if uh, gross things break and broke bones gross you out, then this probably isn't for you. So here is this chick's feet. So you can see the toes are pointing to the sides instead of where they're supposed to be. So it's on both feet. You can see that one there. And this one here is a little bit more severe. So we're going to correct it by putting the wrap on to pull them back straight. 
Because they are so young, everything is very flexible in their feet, so it's quite easy to correct. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this little one's toes. It looks like all six toes are going to need wrapped on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them. Um, I do have some straws with me as well, so if I needed to, I can put some straws on them to make sure that they really stay in place and straight the way they need to be. This little one's feet were quite severe, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And if I don't see improvement in the next couple of days, then I'm gonna go ahead and add the straws as well to just make sure that it draws them into that proper position. So for now, he's got some fancy bandaged feet and I'm hoping that this will do the trick for this little one. So that's all I'm going to be worrying about for today. I got the most severe one and I got a couple other ones that I noticed had a little bit slightly off, but most of them are actually looking really good. So I'm just gonna do the improvements on the brooder that I need to to make this better for them, which will be just making sure that they have enough bedding over top of the linoleum because I've noticed once you put the chicks in here and they start running around and scrambling, they push the shavings around a lot. So I'm going to give them some more clean, fresh bedding today and that should hopefully help them have a better footing when they're running around on the ground and that should help eliminate that problem. So another thing that can cause the crooked toe problem that I talked about is inbreeding. That was one thing I missed when I talked about the other causes. So inbreeding can cause crooked toes in chicks as well, which is why I was a bit concerned. These are all purchased chicks. Um, I noticed it in one of my opal chicks and opals have a smaller gene pool just because it's such a brand new line of poultry. And the cuckoos uh, that have it the worst are the ones that I had purchased from a hatchery. And so you just never really know what you're gonna get. But the reason I am quite certain that it's brooder issues is because it developed so late. I've had these chicks since they were just a few days old and there was no problems or concerns with them whatsoever until about a week ago when I started noticing their toes were a bit wonky. That was when I knew that something needed to be done. Um, if it had been hatching issues or genetic issues or inbreeding, then it would have started right from the very beginning. When they were a few days old, it would have been noticeable or right at hatch, it would have been noticeable. And for them now, the cuckoos are six weeks old and I just noticed it was getting pretty severe. So I knew that it was something later on in their lives that caused this. So making sure their brooder is in tip top shape will help and doing the taping should help. Um, and so that should be that should be all that we need to do for these little guys for now. And we'll just keep an eye on the crooked toes. While on the topic of crooked toes, I had mentioned that it is something that doesn't really affect them as they get older. And I wanted to prove that to you because I actually have an Easter egg or hen that with crooked toes that were never fixed. So this is one of my Easter <laughs> egg or hens. She is a cream crested leg bar cross. I don't know what the cross is. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Simon. So, it's never affected her whatsoever. I know that it's not an inbreeding issue because it's, um, she's a mix. So her parents were definitely not related because they weren't even the same breed. So with her foot, it's never ever slowed her down. It's never caused her any problems. She's just a normal chicken with a foot that's sideways. <laughs> It's mostly just a cosmetic issue when you can rule out that it is any sort of genetic problem. So there she is, our crooked, crooked footed chicken. So that's all for today. If you guys are new here, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can show your support for our channel. It really helps us keep going, knowing that you guys are watching what we are showing you guys and learning from it. Hope to see you guys next time. 
here we go. Brush new bedding. I made it deeper to try and help with the foot problem. So there's more shavings. Keep them from getting down to vinyl and walking on vinyl. Made it especially thick in that corner because that's their favorite spot. Now they're all over there bathing and digging, so it worked out perfect. 